Namaskar, Dr. Prasun. Uh, in today's topic, uh, what I'm going to discuss is that uh, immunoglobulins how they are classified and uh, what are the functions of different type of immunoglobulin in brief. So here immunoglobulin can be classified uh, as you all know the basic structure that uh, immunoglobulin mainly contains two heavy chains and two light chains. So on the basis of that one can classify on the basis of heavy chain and maybe on the basis of light chain. So first of all on basis of heavy chain it is classified uh, mainly by immunoglobulin G, A, M, D, E and uh, this are G, A, M, D each word, each is each one is the representative of the initial word that if the immunoglobulin is uh, having the gamma heavy chain uh, as I told you that uh, before only that uh, these two chains are identical in nature so if this one is gamma this one is also gamma so if the immunoglobulins contain gamma heavy chain then it is termed as the gamma globulin if it contains alpha heavy chain, it is the mu heavy chain, it is the delta heavy chain and here is the epsilon heavy chain. So it is a basic classification on the basis of heavy chain. Now on the basis of light chain, uh, it is mainly classified as the kappa light chain and the lambda light chain. These are the two main parts. And uh, generally, uh, regarding these immunoglobulins, if the immunoglobulin, uh, which is in the molecular weight uh, around uh, 150 to 900 megadalton, this constitutes the part of the blood, the blood proteins. As they are, and also they are uh, soluble, uh, they constitute parts of blood protein, and they are soluble. So they are the ones. They are the plasma of things or plasma clones of the B cells. So these are the immunoglobulins. The main function of immunoglobulins is they, they work as a blood plasma, blood plasma proteins and uh, they, they also constitute the part of the B cells. So now the, uh, come to the functions of the, this plasma protein. Generally, lambda and the kappa light chain, this classification uh, is not used so much. Uh, mainly this immunoglobulin G immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin M, immunoglobulin D and the immunoglobulin E. This classification is used widely. So now, first of all starting with IgG. This one is the only antibody which can close the placental barrier and can affect the fetus. And it is the responsible for the 3 to 6 months immune protection which we told the innate immunity in newborns. So it can cross placenta and uh, it is a part of innate immun immunity. The next is the A and this in innate immunity I want to specify is for 3 to 6 months. Next is a IgA. So IgA basically I want to say it is for the secondary immune responses secondary immune response one does one want to say it is not direct one it is uh, exaggerated by one of the factor and then after it spreads so it is the secondary immune response the third one is the M immunoglobulin M and I want to say about this is the dominant M, dominant one you can find this uh, immunoglobulin in most of the uh, most of the immune response, and uh, generally this one is in secondary, and most of the immune response this one is the primary. Now next come to the immunoglobulin D. Immunoglobulin D is generally physically much larger than other immunoglobulins. 
this immunoglobulin D is larger one and uh, sorry uh, generally it exists as the monomer and uh, this immunoglobulin is found on beta cell surface which at, one, at which it functions as the receptor while about immunoglobulin E it is a well known immunoglobulin E all of you are the former students you all know the blast cells and it is found there only and so if you know the blast cells you know the histamine and you all know histamine is involved in allergic reactions so immunoglobulin E is there in allergic reactions so this is all about the basic things regarding this immunoglobulins for further videos, please subscribe to our doppers and thank you.